It's suspected there was an ulterior motive in its awarding by Hugh Dispenser, the ruler of Glamorgan at the time. So was it a case that Hugh Dispenser wanted to win favour with the men of Cantrissant who were experienced and trained longbowmen uh, to join that army and did so by presenting them with a charter? The use of the longbow at the Battle of Cressy would change warfare forever. Llantrissant's longbowmen fought for the Black Prince Edward of Woodstock and the people of the town have been known as the Black Army ever since. Bowmen of Llantrissant were renowned as being excellent archers. Uh, they were very strong, very tough and could shoot these very heavy draw weight bows. Uh, shooting very heavy arrows with armour piercing bodkins on the end, shooting them hundreds of yards to reach the, the enemy. They were probably quite competitive, so they have tried to beat each other at sh distant shooting, how fast they could shoot, because uh, it said that some archers could shoot 12 arrows in a minute, they could get the second arrow in the air before the first arrow had actually landed. Tests have been done that as the arrows go up, they get to the top, slow down, but then as they come down again, they continue accelerating and then actually hit the ground with the same amount of speed that they actually left the bow with. The men of Thantrissant would certainly have used a bow very, very similar to this. It's an extremely powerful weapon. <laughs>